What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out some of these Garden of Bam Bam sad origin stories. All right, guys, this first animation is all about Dr. Fluffy Pants and how he went from a normal doctor to a monster doctor. Come on, Captain Fiddles. You can make it. <sighs> Run, Where Fiddles. I don't know. Jump, Captain Fiddles! Jump! It's no use! I can't reach you! <laughs> no! Dang it! He was so close to making it. If only I had made him a little bit taller. Ban Ban, what was that thing, and where is it taking Captain Fiddles? Uh, that thing is Dr. Fluffy Pants. Dr. Fluffy Pants? Seriously? And if I had to guess, I'd wager he's taking Captain Fiddles back to the medical wing to perform surgery on him. Surgery? But why? Captain Fiddles doesn't need surgery? Why, why would he do that to him? Because not too long ago, Dr. Fluffy Pants was a real practicing surgeon. And believe it or not, he was a very good one. So I think what's going on here is we have Ban Ban, Bambolina, and obviously Captain Fiddles. And they're running away from Dr. Fluffy Pants because he's very evil and he's trying to perform some kind of operation on those three characters but now now he got he got captain fiddles so yeah they're gonna have to save him a long time ago he was a pediatrician he would make sure the little boys and girls that became his patients were healthy and cared for there we go all better now thank you dr fluffy pants you're the best he loved his job, and helping young ones grow up big and strong, he would do anything for them. Dr. Fluffy Pants, you're wanted in surgery. <laughs> but he was a very talented surgeon, maybe the very best in the world. So most of his time was spent operating on adults. The problem was he also had a bad habit of getting overly creative with his work. All I wanted you to do was give me my sight back. And that's exactly what I did. No, you didn't! You turned me into some kind of cat-eyed freak! Oh, come now. You asked me for your sight back, and that's what I gave you. Plus the added bonus of night vision. But I <laughs> don't want night vision! I just want regular vision! Dr. Fluffy Pants couldn't help himself. Every time someone asked him to perform a simple surgery, he'd always find a way to make it more complicated. When a young man came in with a broken nose, Dr. Fluffy Pants gave him a long <laughs> trunk like an elephant. And when an elderly gentleman came in to try to regrow their hair, Fluffy Pants sent him home with the mane of a lion. Surgery after surgery, he continued to give his patients strange and outlandish fixes to their mundane health problems, and the public was getting increasingly angry, even leading to riots outside his office. Until one day, they shut his practice down entirely. Dr. Fluffy Pants was devastated. He searched for more work, but with a reputation for mutilating his patients in weird and confusing ways, no hospital would hire him. And then one day, while reading the paper, he discovered something. A story about another surgeon with a proclivity much like his own. A surgeon doing groundbreaking work. And do you know who that surgeon was? Me. He became enamored by the story surrounding my kindergarten. He was obsessed over the rumors of my work. Until one day, he got so worked up that he decided to see if the rumors were true with his own eyes. He broke into the kindergarten late at night what? in search of my lab. But as we all know too well, it's easy to get lost in here. Wow, there they are. But where are the real ones? Hmm, why does this one look so different? <laughs> hey, get back here. You can run, but you can't hide. Uh, hello? Why did you stop running? <laughs> it's all real. The stories were true. So we got a pretty good idea of Dr. Fluffy Pants and his past work as a pediatrician. So he used to care for children, but then he started caring for adults, but he became so obsessed with his ability to give people pretty much superpowers. Like he gave that lady night vision 
Eyeballs, when all she asked was just for better vision. He gave another patient a big elephant trunk nose when all he wanted was his nose to become unbroken. But Dr. Fluffy Pants, you can't be doing that kind of stuff, okay? And then he discovered the, the Bam Bam Kindergarten. He broke in there and Bam Bam caught him. So I'm pretty sure that this might be how Dr. Fluffy Pants became evil. Teach me how to make your monsters, please. I never thought I would meet anyone that knows or cares as much about the advancement of the human species as I do. At first, I didn't know what to think, and then I decided, you know what, I've been meaning to get a lab assistant around here. Why not? I think no Bam Bam's up to no good. My experiments quite like he did, but that didn't excuse him from the fact that he was trespassing. And so you just strap them down, just like this. Whoa, cool. So this is what it would be like, huh? Wait, what are you doing? Uh oh. Sorry, Doctor, but there's a price for learning my secrets. No, wait, don't! Bam Bam's so evil! Dr. Fluffy Pants hid in the surgery room for days after what I did to him. At first, I thought it was because he was too ashamed to come out. But later, I would come to find that what he was really doing was waiting for his first target. Coach Pickles. Who's there? What the? Is that me? <laughs> Wait! Which brings us to today. No. Nope. Oh my I gosh. I haven't seen Coach Pickles in days. Huh, hope he's all right. Ah, uh, yes, my next appointment. You're right on time. Run! Look, I know what happened today was rough, but in reality, we should be thankful we made it out of there alive. Who knows what he would have done to us. And Melina, what are you doing? We have to save Captain Fiddles. It's the right thing to do. Fine, but I'm warning you. You have no idea how dangerous someone with his mind and strength can be. So Dr. Fluffy Pants has now turned into this evil big blue monster, and he's looking for other monsters to do more surgery on. He already planned to do a trunk extension surgery on poor Coach Pickles, but it's all Bam Bam's fault. Bam Bam is the reason why this is happening. Stay quiet. I think I can hear him working. A little snip here and a little snip there. Oops, <laughs> where did I put my glasses? This needs a closer look. What the? Where's Captain Fiddles? <laughs> Back already, eh? Well, lucky for you, the doctor's always ready to see you. Enough, Dr. Fluffy Pants! We just want our friend back! Oh, you do, do you? Well, then you can have him! Captain Fiddles? No! What have you done to him? <laughs> he made him taller, just like I said earlier. Why don't I take a closer look at that? Stay away from me, you monster! But I just want to help. Like you help Coach Pickles? Why Captain Fiddles here? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I don't want to hurt people anymore. I can still be a good doctor, I swear. Well, let's find out. There we go. All better now. Thanks, Dr. Fluffy Pants. That was actually really nice of you. Maybe you can use your gifts for good from now on. You know, we really could use a doctor in this place. Hmm, I'd love that. I'll take the job. I think he started to have flashbacks when he used to care for people and realized Bambolina was hurt and just naturally he wanted to help her because she was bleeding. She had a cut on her finger, so I guess Dr. Fluffy Pants is now good. All right, guys, this next one is Coach Pickle's sad origin story. Before all this, I was a perfectly happy elephant running free. 
Guys, wait up. Wait for me. You're too slow. Come on, <laughs> pick up the pace. <sighs> it's okay. I'll be here when you get back. I live in the wild with my brother and sister. We were a perfect trio. I found this outside one of those weird cars. Wanna play? Yeah, I'd love to. Let's play monkey in the middle. Holly, you know they don't like it when you call it that. How about pickles in the middle? Well, maybe we weren't the perfect trio. They had a tendency to pick on me. Throw it lower. I can't reach. <laughs> Face it, Pickles. You're not a great athlete. Maybe you'll grow into it or not. They don't what? play games without me. Leaving me so mean. Until one day. Edie? Holly? What are you doing? Uh oh. I ran as fast as I could. I'd heard of poachers in our area, but I thought they'd been taken out. I did everything I could to get away. No, no, gotta pull through. But it was no use. I cried out for my family. Edie, Polly, help! But no one came. They put me up for sale. I'd go to the highest bidder. Take it or leave it, take it or leave it. Anyone want to go higher? Sold to the man in the top hat. Well, 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 little elephant. Looks like you'll be coming with me. The ringmaster. I had a bad feeling about him, and my good feeling was right. You will be of great use to me once you learn to behave. And you will learn to behave. He took me to his circus. Poor Coach Pickles was playing with his brother and his sister Elephant, and he ended up getting caught by a poacher, but they weren't really helping him. They were kind of bullying him. They were kind of being mean. Maybe he's like the youngest out of all the siblings. A lot of times that's just how it goes, but unfortunately, Coach Pickles got caught by the poacher, and then he was auctioned off, and a ringmaster of a circus ended up buying him, and it seems like Coach Pickles is about to go be a circus elephant. I don't like this ringmaster. He seems very mean. Oh, they got monkeys? <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. He's so mean to all the animals. Type. You're going to have to get used to this, you beast. Throw that ball through that flaming hoop and do it right. Wrong. Not fun, is it? There's a lot more where that came from if you don't get it together. Come on, Pickles. You, you can do it. All kinds of tricks. Demeaning little shows for humans. It was humiliating. And on top of all that, the constant yelling, the pain, the mistreatment. Good shot. Well, well, well. Looks like you're not quite useless after all. No matter what I did, it never stopped. And when I finally thought I had it down, that the pain might stop and I might succeed, I choked. Nothing to see here, folks. He's new. The ringmaster was furious. You sit here and think about what you've done. No food, no water. That's how failures get punished. He had locked me up in solitary what? confinement. But that gave me time to think. It wasn't just me suffering here. There were dozens of us, innocent animals being forced to dance for his amusement so he could make a quick buck. I was the biggest and the strongest. I had to be the one to do something about it. All I had to do was wait for the perfect opportunity. All these years and you're still useless. Clearly you've never learned your lesson. What the? How dare you? I may have missed that first shot, but I wasn't about to miss this one. He turned him into a basketball. <laughs> yes. Good job, Pickles. I went on a total rampage. It's what they deserved. Those horrible humans letting this happen to me. I gave the others time to run and escape. I hope they made it. I was dragged off into another dark, cold box. But this time, I had no clue where I was going. Coach Pickles was so fed up 
with that horrible ringleader. He was he, he was being mean to all the different animals at the circus. And then he ended up putting Coach Pickles in like a jail cell. And wasn't giving him any food or water. Like what the heck bro? You can't be doing that to animals. That's not right. But Coach Pickles got his payback. But somebody came and got him once again. I knew I had to make my escape. I freed myself and took off running. I had no idea where to go. I hope maybe I'd find a nice zoo or some nature preserve. I could only run so far though. Like when I was a kid, I wasn't very fast. And the years of unkindness only made my endurance lower. <sighs> Finally, I lied there for what felt like hours. I needed help, but at the same time, I was lucky no one found me until a strange looking fellow came along. An elephant, all the way out here? That's bam, not bam. a place for you to be. <sighs> Look, why don't you come with me? I know somewhere you can be safe. You don't know who could stumble upon you all the way out here. If you don't hide soon, you could face a pretty terrible fate. He was right. As strange as he was, I knew I had to take shelter somewhere, so I went with him. He led me to a strange place. It was colorful and inviting, but I had a bad feeling about it. This is my kindergarten. Was my kindergarten. We've sort of fallen on some hard times, economy and all that. That's definitely what it was. Despite the strange vibes I got from the kindergarten, I found myself a little bit of fun. Believe it or not, I actually started to like basketball, and I knew I'd like it much more without the possibility of being shocked. Hmm. For an elephant, he seems strangely athletic. Well then, we've been in dire need of a gym teacher, haven't we? You still look pretty banged up. Why don't we pay a visit to the medical wing where I can give you a checkup? This man seemed so kind, even if his appearance was strange. A checkup? Years of really, Bam Bam? The idea of someone taking care of me was so bizarre. But I should have realized he had his own ulterior motives. Don't worry, this is just a transfusion. You're severely deficient in vitamins A, B, C, really the whole alphabet. We want you in tip-top shape so you can start living your life again. You wanted to experiment on me all along, and I let you. You turned me into a monster! Look what you've done to me! Why are you angry? I saved you. Saved me? Look at me. This is even worse than I was before. You ruined my life! Your life was already terrible. If I were you, I'd start running. But I guess you weren't fast enough. Get back here! There's gotta be something. Aha! You're trapped now! Hey, Coach Pickles, you wanna play? No! No! You put that down! What? So after Coach Pickles finally escaped and was on his own, Bam Bam kind of took him under his wing, welcomed him to his kindergarten, but of course, Bam Bam wanted to take control of him and just do experiments on him. And unfortunately, Coach Pickles got zapped. I need everybody to go down in the comments right now and type, save Coach Pickles. This next one is Chef Pigster's sad origin story. You see, I was born on a farm, just like a normal piglet. <laughs> not a totally normal piglet. I was special. I was born deformed, oh. with four eyes instead of two. Of course, it didn't hinder me. If anything, I could see twice as good. And my mother, she loved me anyway. Unfortunately, that wasn't true for everyone. What? Uh, what is this thing? What did you do? You only had one piglet, and it's this monster? Aww. I'll have you taken off to the slaughterhouse, you useless so. No! <sighs> Fine. I'll let you keep him for now. My mama saved my life that day. Both of our lives. But it didn't last long. You're coming with me. <laughs> I'm not taking you anywhere bad. I'm just getting you checked out by a vet. 
If you want to have more piglets, we don't want them turning out like that. I watched as the farmer led my mama off to the distance, loading her up in a truck. Of course, I couldn't read since I was a piglet, but I had a bad feeling about it. That was the last time I ever saw her. Don't worry about your mama, kid. You'll be seeing her again. Pretty darn soon! Yeah. I had no choice but to run away! Sticking around was certain death, and I had nothing left to stay for anyway. I didn't stop running for miles. A little pig didn't belong in the big city, but I had no choice. It gave me a place to hide. I was too young to fend for myself. I had no mama left to feed me, so I did what pigs do. I ate trash. Ugh. I didn't find anything edible until I got to the very bottom. That's where I struck gold. Little did I know this was about to change me. That was the best meal I'd ever had in my short life. <laughs> I couldn't just stop there. I needed more of this deliciousness. Eventually, trash stopped doing it for me. Luckily, it's a big city. Lots of opportunity, if you get what I mean. That is, if you know where to look. <laughs> Surprisingly, I wasn't a bad chef. It could use a little more seasoning. But my taste for chicken trumped my desire for a little garlic powder. I'd finally figured out how to live the good life. But then, the unexpected happened. Ban ban again. I, was kidnapped. I had no idea who captured me or where I was going, but I would find out soon enough. Here, little pig. Welcome, little fellow. Aren't you glad to be inside after all those nights out on the streets? A big city's no place for a little pig. We got baby chef pigster who was born with four eyes, and that farmer ended up taking his mother away. And I'm pretty sure that that's a bacon farm. So Chef Pigster then ran away to the city, and he had to survive on nothing but garbage, but he actually really enjoyed it, and he also realized that he's a pretty good chef. Do you trust me, little piggy? To be honest, I didn't. But the promise of a better life was too sweet to turn down. Here, I can change you, but not uh -oh. the way you think. No, I won't take away those freakish eyes of yours. I'll do one better. Hold still, little piggy. No need to cry, wee, wee, wee. And the rest was history. Uh-oh. What? What have you done to me? I'm more of a freak than ever. Wait, I can talk? Exactly. You're more of a freak. And now you can fit in with the others. And you can speak. Don't be scared. Look how big your mouth is now. And right next to your stomach, too. All the better to eat with, no? He was right about that. My favorite pastime would be even better now. I could do more than eat. I could devour. Thank you, Ban Ban. This... This is wonderful. All in a day's work. And from then on, I would live a much happier life. Or so I thought. I became the chef for all the colorful characters of Ban Ban's kindergarten. It was just wonderful. I learned how to cook all kinds of special dishes. Not chicken, though. We can never get any in stock. Oh, how I missed my delicious chicken. But <laughs> apparently, I manifested my dreams coming true. Hello, what can I get you? Just lettuce sounds great. Right, lettuce. My instincts took over, and I just couldn't help myself. I needed my chicken. What are you doing? Get away from me! And I think that just about brings us up to speed. Finally, looks like story time's over, bird brain. Now it's time to get to the main course. Look, I, I know you're hungry. I, I can help you find something that'll taste way better than me. I can help you find a real chicken. No need. You, don't you know better than to interrupt someone during their meal? Sorry, Pigster. You're gonna have to go to bed without dinner tonight. He dodged it. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Take this! Any last words, Ban Ban? Cause you're about to be mincemeat! I don't have anything to say to you, but I do have something to show you. What? What Chicken. is that? I think you know exactly what it is. 
chicken. My dear chicken, is that you? You want it? Come get it. <laughs> he loves chicken. The crispy exterior, the spices, the salty meat. It's even better than I remember. Apollo, shoot him now while he's distracted. It's that pig! Huh? Now come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. He's a mad piggy. Now, even though Chef Pigster wasn't as disappointed with what Bam Bam did to him like some of the other characters were, he just really loves chicken, and he tried to eat Opilla Bird, and Bam Bam had to save her. I guess that's all Chef Pigster really wants. He just wants his chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed these amazing sad origin story animations by Game Tunes as much as I did. If you guys want to see more, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace!